Uh, he would agree because I, 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 I really am my own woman. I, 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 I. You hear how many times she's saying I? Oprah said four times too, just like Lucifer. I, 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 I. Oprah Winfrey is known as the queen of media worldwide. Even as the Lord God rebuked the pride of the king of Babylon, so the Lord rebukes all in this hour that will walk in the same spirit of Lucifer, which is now Satan in the spirit of pride. We see in the book of Revelation, she says, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. We see that today Oprah Winfrey is being called a queen. Also the queen of England controls the To say world. the mood on today's Oprah Winfrey show was ecstatic is to is coming, understate they don't ecstasy. I have two words for you, America. Mr. President! Obama booster Oprah showed her audience how she was in Grant Park last night, standing out in the sea of hundreds of thousands of supporters of the new president-elect. I feel like I'm, uh, I've been sort of like pulsating all day, and now I feel like I'm like in full vibrational mode. That's, I feel good. I feel like this is what we've wanted and hoped for and worked for for the past 21 months. The first lady of television, Oprah Winfrey! Oprah was, after all, a key early backer of her fellow Chicago icon, and she joined him on the campaign trail. Over the years, I've voted for as many Republicans as I have Democrats. So this isn't about partisanship for me. This is very, very personal. Talking heads may poo-poo celebrity endorsements, but Oprah, as we know, is no ordinary celebrity. Her backing was not like Chuck Norris's endorsement of Mike Huckabee. All due respect to both gentlemen. It may be that without Oprah, last night would not have happened. How so? Oprah's been called the most influential woman in the world. She's a billionaire, the highest rated talk show host in the history of television. In addition to being the wealthiest woman in show business, Oprah wields real power. The power to push a product. People are saying, well, I don't know. Do you think you would be as influential as the books that she's been able to have so many people read the books? Do you think that it'll be the same thing as the favorite things that she gives away? In the 12 weeks after she put the 19th century Russian novel Anna Karenina on her book club list, sales increased 5,421%. Before Oprah put Chow Bella Blood Orange Sorbet on her Oprah's favorites list, the company website received an average of 175,000 hits a week. After the sorbet was put on the list, that number jumped to 3 million. And then, of course, there was the fallout after Oprah devoted a show to mad cow disease in April 1996 and said about a guest's comments, It has just stopped me cold from eating another burger. Cattle futures fell 10% the next day, and a group of cattle ranchers eventually sued Oprah for defamation, seeking $12 million in losses. Oprah was found not guilty. Oprah did not use her show to promote See Barack Obama, but her fame and influence had an impact nonetheless. How much impact? Tim Moore is one of two University of Maryland PhD candidates in economics who's attempted to quantify what Oprah meant to Mr. Obama. What we do is we, uh, we take uh, two measures of her popularity and then look, is there a statistical connection between um, Oprah's um, popularity and Obama's votes? And in doing that, we control for a lot of other things that we think are important to people's votes, like uh, how people vote, like uh, their, their gender, race, education, uh, income, uh, housing prices, um, unemployment. And, uh, and we still find an effect. Their study looked at circulation for her magazine, O, and for book sales of books on Oprah's list. We think that's a pretty good measure of uh, people going out 
and acting on Oprah's advice. They did a lot of math, controlled for other possible factors, and came up with equations that I'm still not sure I understand. What does this mean? What are their preferences for a particular candidate, um, given uh, the endorsement of, um, of Oprah? Their conclusion, in the very, very tight primary race where Senator Obama eked out a narrow victory against Senator Hillary Clinton, Oprah's backing, they say, meant Obama garnered somewhere between 400,000 and 1.6 million votes. Roughly 1,015,559 votes, they say. So, this equation is quite possible. Obama minus Oprah would have equaled Hillary Clinton as the Democratic nominee. Which means President-elect Obama starts his administration with a big IOU for Oprah. How big? The number one Barack Obama campaign promise. Three words. Vice President Oprah. Yeah. This is Jake Tapper for Nightline in Chicago. Lady Gaga doesn't only bow down to the Queen of England. See who else she bows down to. That's right. This is Lady Gaga bowing down to Oprah Winfrey, folks. Oprah Winfrey. Lady Gaga is bowing down to Oprah Winfrey. You see, you don't Oprah think she's Winfrey the queen? has always aspired to be the queen, even since she was a young girl. Now she's the queen of media, the queen of television. Anton Levy was the founder of the Church of Satan. He died on October 30, 1997, and unfortunately, because God's church is the sleeping giant, Levy's followers and his agenda, to desensitize Christians through the media, lives on. Here are some astonishing quotes of his, the TV set is the satanic family altar. Television is the major mainstream infiltration for the new satanic religion. It should be brought out that we not only condone, but encourage all types, of what would be called sexual perversity and deviations, because we feel that in a few short years it will be established that everyone is a sexual deviant and pervert. In the Satanic Bible, Levy explained that he was moved to establish the Church of Satan, when he saw the need for a church, that would recapture man's body and carnal desires as objects of celebration. The Church of Satan preaches a religious system that endeavors, to overcome the repressions and inhibitions of human instinctual behavior it believes has been fostered by the Judeo-Christian tradition. Well, certainly, obviously, everybody knows that I was uh, a, a big campaigner for Obama, and I still am. I think he's doing a great job. I think this is the toughest job in the world, you know, with the economy and with health care and all of that. I don't know. I think that my job was to make people or allow people to uh, be introduced to Obama who might not have been at the time. And now, you know, I never claim to be a person who was interested in politics or, you know, raising my voice in terms of politics. I wanted him elected, and I think I did that.